Anyways, uh, today's topic is gonna be about subliminal messages. The one topic where it's about where it's about hidden messages in everyday hidden in everyday things, commercials, advertisements, anything that can that can ha hide a second meaning. So here we are. I'm here we are at my map, and also I have a special guest here. Uh, hey, hello, Cha. This, uh, yeah, don't be shy. Say hi to the audience. Hey, everyone. Yeah, so how, how you doing, Cha? I'm fine. Just a bit sleepy. Oh, you just were barely woke up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that's, uh, I guess that's what's going on over there. It's still morning at your at your end. Yeah, early morning. All right, I'm. Yeah, well, it's at the afternoon on this side of the world, but it's all good. So, anyways, yeah. uh, in uh, you know, in today's uh, society, there's uh, there's a lot of hidden things, especially especially in uh, in in everything everyday things that you would you would see like let's say you're used to seeing uh, a certain thing or a certain TV commercial or if you watch TV or or, a, or something online that's been advertised constantly like sometimes you would get the urges of of wanting to get something but you don't exactly know why like have you ever had something like that happen to you where you really want it, but you don't exactly know why you want it, but you just do? Yeah, probably. Sometimes. Sometimes? Uh, oh, so, can you name a couple of, of things? Uh, um, <laughs> well... Uh... I mean, it could be anything, really. I mean... Or maybe something, or maybe something when you were, uh, I don't know, younger. Let's say you wanted a, you wanted, you wanted this uh, one, to I don't know, for an example, a toy, a, 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 a piece of, of food, or, or maybe, or maybe <coughs> something, something that just simply caught your attention when you were younger. Yeah, like burger. Oh, burgers. Like what? Yeah, I don't like burger, but. When I see, when I see advertisement on TV, like a McDonald's. McDonald's. You know, yes. I want it, but I don't like, I don't like burger. Oh, you don't like burgers? Yeah, not really. Oh, I see. And also pizza. Yeah, well, I mean, also uh, with McDonald's, well... This is like a multi multi uh, billion dollar uh, fast food industry, and yes, they had paid a lot of money making commercials. And the way they yeah. make their commercials, um, they had they had to have have to find a way to to get the attention of of some people, or most people, but they want to find out a, of a clever way to do so. So. So sometimes, so yes, that's when they had to come up with a with a way to uh, to catch the attention. So they have to have to they have to had hide something, something in the commercials or something like a message, like you know, you know, a McDonald's slogan that says something like "A ba 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 ba, I'm loving it." Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, they have something like that. So. <laughs> So they have to had they had to had come up with with something clever, and and that's just one of them. So so I'm so you pretty much uh, pretty much they uh, they always have to come up with with new ways to catch the attention of 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 most people in a in a changing industry, or pretty much uh in a pretty much they have to catch up with the competition. So. So they have to come up with with something catchy as well as something cleverly hidden in in order to in order to get the person's attention. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. 
So geez, there's like a lot of controversial stuff at times. Also, there's I'm not sure if they still have 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 it around, but remember remember the McDonald the Ronald McDonald clown that pops up in the commercials? Yeah, yeah, I you know. Yeah, there's sometimes yeah, surely clowns they meant they make us laugh. They do ridiculous things to to get our their to get our attentions because they just look goofy, yeah. and therefore we don't. We, yeah. It makes it lefts us no choice but to want to look at them and say and just laugh and whatever jokes or or things they do. And they look scared. Scary. scary. Oh yes, this yes, clowns can also <laughs> look scary. There's actually a there's actually there's actually a, a an, an explanation on how on why they're scary. Like um. Well, if if you actually look at it at a different perspective, uh, they're actually. They're actually, uh, the way they put it, they're actually hideous creatures. <laughs> that, like, or deformed, deformed humanoid forms that, that try to, uh, and that try to, like in the movies, they make them, they make them seem like they want to, they want to murder you or they want to go after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what's, what scared, uh, good a good amount of people <laughs> they they bring out that impression so they also have they also represent uh uh let's say jo uh you know uh, uh, j uh jokes or or they represent uh something it, and of a more sinister approach I mean, which is which is actually perf, which is actually perfect the way the way they the mo the movies uh, have it. So, so they're portray they're be they're portrayed as as evil creatures that wants to eat that they want to take over the world. They want to they want to <laughs> seek revenge, be or they even want to they want to. Uh, they want to uh, j uh, jokingly, jokingly murder people. That they make <laughs> they make you laugh so hard that you <laughs> that you'll even die from it. Oh my gosh! So, so yeah, I mean, that can be quite scary if you if you look at it uh, at that way. Oh geez, yeah. you, you certainly don't want to. You certainly don't want to encounter one of those in real life, if if they do happen to exist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, um, there was oh yes, and speaking of clowns, there was also a a time where there was also a case where where uh where these people over in somewhere in California, I don't remember exactly what city. It's like they there's this trend where people dressed up dressed up as clowns and they literally go up in front of in front of compl of random people's uh, houses and they and and there was uh, one per there was some pe there was so uh, some people that actually caught them on camera and and when and when they, and you know they just got home from vacation they decided to check their surveillance systems and the next thing you know there's this unusual person dressed up as a clown just staring at the camera yeah. and yeah. and then you and then you'd be wonder what the heck is going on there <laughs> and you'd be like oh my goodness what what what, what what's wrong with what what's going on there are they going to are they going to do something actually they they don't they actually do no harm all they really do is just stand there giving you that eerie fee, uh that eerie vibe and they just they just start smashing that uh smashing something probably like sometimes they'll bring a pumpkin and they'll just smash it in front of the the cam the camera set oh my god just like that so yeah oh my god you'd, you'd probably be scared if you were to see something like that near your house yeah. while you were away of course so so you you wouldn't so yeah Brace yourselves. If you were to live in California in a neighborhood like that while well, that trend is going, beware.
of random people yeah. dressed up as clowns doing some really weird, weird crap <laughs> on, the sur on the surveillance camera. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Also, let's see here. Another, th another thing that... Oh yes, there's also another, uh, another thing that also has subliminal messages. You, 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 you most likely have heard of Disney, correct? Hmm? You know Disney? Disney oh, yeah. They're car they, yeah, yeah. they make cartoons, and they've been doing it for for a very, very <laughs> long time. Yeah. There's actually there are there's actually been a case. There's actually been dis a few discoveries where they actually found some ver some hidden uh, messages. Actually, some some references to some some very very controversial stuff. Let's see. There's one example. You ever you've mm -hmm. seen the movie The Lion King? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my favorite one. Yeah, it's. Uh, I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet it is. And uh, and prepare prepare for your to have your childhood ruined. On what I'm about to tell you. Okay, okay, go ahead. There are some scenes. There's a scene at the, I believe, at the beginning. You know where, where, um, where, where Simba was first born, and and the and the bamboo, and the bamboo uh, yeah. grabbed grabbed the, the the cub. And and he gra and he also uh, grabbed some some uh, something. I believe it had some kind of cream or or paint. And when and yeah, when yeah, he yeah. rubbed it on Simba's forehead, it spelled out yeah, something yeah. there. What? Okay. It liter. If you can see it closely, or and if you're and if you're uh, and if you're sharp enough, it literally spells out S E X. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It, can you believe that? <laughs> really? Yes, really. It oh. sure does. How do you know that? Well, there's actually there's actually people that have uh had uh showed it on YouTube or some anywhere on the web. No. Uh, Oh man, can you believe that? Can you believe they would put something like that in a kids show? In a kids movie? No. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, not only that, there's also some other scenes as well. There's also a uh, a scene I believe when another one when when Symbol gets lost in a in a in a, a tropical forest. There's like it showed a whole scene where there's a bunch of trees uh, gr uh, and bushes everywhere, and literally that image alone spells out that same the same letters in a bunch of different ways, very cleverly hidden. Wow. Oh yes. <laughs> oh no. Uh huh. <laughs> Man, can you believe that? Yeah. That's just that's just one of the examples of, wh of what Disney hides when they when they put these subliminals. And there's also oh yeah, and there's also another another movie that I can name that has subliminals. Hmm. Well, there there are, there are many, but I'm just gonna pick a random one. Uh, the movie Aladdin. Uh. You ever heard of that? You've seen that movie, correct? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. You don't. You don't have. You haven't. Well, any. But yeah, I mean, there's. A, there's a um. Somewhere in in the movie, there's a. I believe there's a scene. There's a very very uh, a very controversial scene. I mean, somewhere, huh? somewhere at the end of the mo, somewhere, somewhat at the end of the movie, where where Aladdin's gonna fight the bad guy, around that scene, I believe there, I believe the character Jasmine, 
supposed to be the the pri the princess of of that movie where that Aladdin was supposed to save was uh was wearing some very very uh very a uh, uh, very uh erotic uh suggestive clothing that w and it and it's it's kind of, it's it's weird on how they have it at a at a move at a kids movie like that yeah and uh and around there he uh, that's when she uh she she made out made out with the bad guy the prince the prince of the, that movie that the that Aladdin was supposed to save was ended up making out with a bad guy now what does that tell you <laughs> now what does that tell you there <laughs> No idea? No. Yeah. Well, I... Well, it's... Well, I'm not I'm not sure how to... How to, uh... To describe it, but it's... It's like... It's like unbelievable. If you were to... If you were to go back as an, as an adult and you see that... <laughs> So um so yeah imagine imagine if you were like so if you were like so into Disney and and you were like oh man I remember I used to watch this when I was a little kid <laughs> Man it's uh it's sun it 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 probably be it probably be devastating f for if like I can't believe I've watched this <laughs> So, Devin, so, I mean, like, I bet somebody that loves this, loves it so, uh, Disney so much, would pro might be, but who knows if they were to realize it? Who knows? They probably might, might boy boycott it if they find out. But I highly doubt that that ever happens, cause too many people, too many people likes Disney, and uh, I'm very sure they gr even even the older generations grew up grew up uh, watching watching their movies as well. So yeah, if you were to just, if you were to find out something like that was hidden within a within a movie you were you watched as a kid, and when you become an adult, you start you start to see, oh my goodness, it was there this whole time. <laughs> hey, but, yeah. but hey, how do you think Disney became so successful all, all of a sudden? Uh, a lot of fans. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, most of them are kids. I've been. And uh, also, let's see. There's also some other some other uh, examples as well. Another, not necessarily a Disney movie, but there's also a. Uh, there's also. Um, a couple of uh, commercials here not no 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 not commercials I mean even on even on currency oh somebody changed my map what the heck what the heck yeah it went, I wasn't supposed to be on this map but uh, hopefully I ch oh, but at least I cha I saved my set ch changes <laughs> So anyways, uh, there's, uh, anyways, uh, have you ever seen, uh, the American dollar? Or have you seen how it looks like? No. No? Um, there's, a yeah, in, in some money, there's a certain, there you have there's a way there's a certain way you have to fold the fold a dollar in order to see it like if you were to fold it like uh like let's say um let's say you decide to fold uh fold it at a certain way and uh and if you were to fold it like in half it mm -hmm. it and like the at the back of the dollar it shows like the white house 
and if you were to fold mm. it a certain way, um, mm -hmm. it actually shows a building being uh, burned down. And these are two two buildings burning down at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and keep in mind this is this is uh, something that happened long before before two, the 2001's uh, 2001 uh, disaster, one of the one of the worst disasters in U.S. history, also known as 9/11. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, there's a there's a hidden yeah there's pretty much a hidden message in the dollar where when you fold it up in a certain way it literally clearly shows uh, clearly shows. Uh, smoke on it itself. Oh really? And uh, and it also uh, and it also and you and you would wonder how do they know this stuff? How is it that they predicted something from over <coughs> two two hundred over three hundred years ago? They were able to um, lay, they were able to predict not necessarily predict but to interpret that right right there well hidden in the cleverest way possible <laughs> I mean how did they how did they know all that oh. man Man, it's just it's unbelievable how how subliminal messages also also work that way. Yeah. I mean, there's some yeah. weird stuff going on in hidden messages. Ki from movie yeah, yeah, yeah. kids movies to to you to American money and oh yeah, and uh there's also hidden messages in symbols as well. I mean, I really wish I can. I really wish I can show this. I uh, can show it on my stream right now, but unfortunately, I don't yet have the methods to do so at the moment. So, so I guess it's going to be. So I guess I'm going to have to be as detailed as possible. Uh, there's. Uh, I believe there's. Uh, there's a. Uh, um, there's a a procedure on how they have uh on how they hide these these messages they have to figure out a way to they ha a way to have it hidden to where sometimes even the the co the company's managers themselves will have a hard time looking through it and it takes a certain eye to be able to identify it so there's also some subliminals where they literally uh hide hide uh uh some uh another meaning like for instance um there's um there's a logo i believe there's the there's the cnn not the cnn i mean a news logo that look that looks like a that looks like a peacock where it has like the little rainbow you pro you probably never heard of it i i even forgot what what it's <laughs> called <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 anyways, skipping, uh, skipping onto a different thing. There's also, there's also, um, there's also some cleverly uh, hidden uh, messages in, and let's say certain websites. For s apparently, on the Facebook uh, login, oh. when you know when yeah. you first log in, it shows a little map, like a map yeah. of the of the world yeah, yeah. there has been people that were that that had found that had put pinpoint pinpoint the um the things there and uh and they and they they like pinpoint the lines together and it literally spells out spy spy yeah the word spy yeah Oh, I see. Yeah, like... 
uh, they have a. And well, there's also been some some cases where Facebook has been known to be to be uh, selling people's informations online. As well, so it would make sense. Uh, it would make sense uh, that that they would do such a thing, and, and that kind of supports the fact that perhaps Facebook is a spying tool. Oh no! Huh? <laughs> Can you believe that? But anyways, uh, aside aside from from Facebook and all that, I'm gonna have to leave that for a different for another topic. So, there's also, um, let's see what else, what else I can see with subliminals. There's, uh, there's even, there's even hidden subliminals in audio as well. Like, you know, there, you know, there's even music, mainstream music that, uh, that also, if you were to put put that same song and listen to it backwards, it surely it'll sound scary when you listen to it. But when you but but they also have different different. Uh, it also says a different uh, message. Like for instance, there's a Justin Bieber song. Remember, you know you've heard of the song named Baby. Yeah. Oh man, if you were to. If you were to reverse that song, it actually has a. It actually it actually uh, says a a very very uh very how should I say this a very uh, eerie thing when Ju when Justin uh, sings his song like it, it talks about how. How he wants to rob banks, drop bombs, and also the most, and also the most disturbing thing that he also mentioned is this: is these three world, these three words. This is also something that you that's also been used by a cult. Jeez, what's with the noise? It sounds like there's a truck or some a uh, car coming by. Oh my goodness! That that came out of nowhere. Okay. So, anyways, uh, three words somewhere within the song, in reverse. It literally said, New World Order. New World Yeah, order. This is something that, that these uh, secret societies have mentioned about a lot. You've heard of the, ever heard of the Illuminati? Yeah, I have. Yes. I heard it. The, the, the triangle and the all-seeing eye. I see. That is also yeah. that is also a very very famous uh, uh, subliminal of its own slash meme that had been circling all, cir the circling around for quite some time. Started out as a started out as a as a as something that most people never heard of or doesn't even know of at all, and or don't even know what mm. it even means. Until until recently, it starts to become more and more exposed. Man, yeah. man, we live in we live in such a crazy world, and there's like literally so many different things that these big that the big guys don't want you to know, and they and they have a way of hiding this stuff really really well. Oh man. So the next, <laughs> yeah. So the next time you come across some sub, uh, some uh, something like that, or you probably wonder why something like something so famous decides to be, uh, to be, uh, you know, or is so so appealing to so many people. Chances are, there's, it's not necessarily because it's mainstream, but it's also because that because there's something backing it up, or something that's making it to where to where people subconsciously wants it but they have no idea why they want it but they just go f they go with it because it's been it's been suggested in a subconscious level mm. yeah well so uh 
So what else is uh, is up? Hmm. There's also um, there's also another uh, there's also another hidden subliminals that doesn't necessarily have to be from 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 big companies or or has to be made by ooh the 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 occult. There's also there's also simple simple subliminals as to as to some to where either words me uh meanings have double double meanings. Like what is it? Like when when somebody mentions one thing, it it actually it actually it actually may reference to a different thing. That can also be another example of a of a subliminal. And uh, oh. and also, there's uh, there's also another thing going on where um, where some subliminals are very very cleverly hidden that that they can be they can be hidden into let's say let's say a, a religious uh, religious stuff too. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm I'm very sure that they have to have a way to get their followers and and you know s symbology. It has yeah. There's a it can be used in many different ways. It can represent something good, or it can represent something evil. Yeah. Jeez. So uh, talking about uh, talking about the extra. The extra, the extra stuff that they come that comes with. Alrighty. Also, I got a. I was. I also have. A, there's also some some other subliminals that are actually very very obvious. And I'm not gonna mention so much about it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna briefly t uh, say it real quick, and then and then move on to the, to the to another part. Okay. Yeah. Like uh. Like for instance, uh, I uh also I wanted to. No, I wanted. There's also, in the adult industry. Huh? There, there's quite some obvious stuff there. Like you know the in the adult industry they have some very very they do some very private stuff and and that sort of thing and and they wanna and they had to figure out a way how to how to please their their audience that are into that those kind of things and also yeah. but at the same time they wanna be dis they wanna be discreet about it if they want to promote it there's, oh, yeah. there's a perfect example. Uh, there's uh there's uh of course a perfect example would be Playboy for instance. Their symbol is uh is the bunny with two ears. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh you know also also can can you guess uh what the what the what the bunny symbol actually means? <laughs> okay, hint. Bunnies do this all the time, especially especially when they're when they're when they're uh, together between the opposite genders. Uh. So. So there's uh so yeah it. it so yeah, they, it actually it actually had a reference to to bunnies. Well, well, I'm not sure. I don't think I should uh, I should say it. So, but um, yeah, but I think it. but I think you you probably can already figure out what I mean from there. Yeah. Man. And that's just one of, and that's just an example there of how they, of of the, of the way they use their symbols. Because the bunny, well, 
they do, because even even bunnies uh, do some very explicit stuff. But most people don't really don't really see it that way, because you know bunnies for the average person are like, oh, they're cute little little creatures that they like that look so adorable. They want to and they want to pet it and hug it and and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but when really, they actually, they actually do a lot. They actually do. They actually overpopulate if they're if they're together for so long. Doing their times tables, like, like, two times two, he makes it four, and then, and then two times four makes it eight, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Another example of uh, of a sub of the subliminal stuff. Man, talking about uh, talking about about the way they put it. Oh my goodness! So, mo moving on. And also, um, I don't have a whole lot of. I don't think I have a whole lot of time here. Eh. But I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible. Uh, the la another, the last thing I also want to mention about some sublimin uh, subliminal messages is, is also in the in the in also another form of the uh, of audio. There's uh, oh. there's uh, also there's also some frequencies that has been used in order to in order to make a mu some music appealing. Like ever heard of binal beats? No. Like there's this very very there's this this uh piece of bass that is like there in the background. You could barely hear it, and it's very and it's and it's and it's th just right there in the background. You know that noise when you hear when it's on somewhat on high volume, and it goes like mm, throughout throughout the throughout the audio track. Like you see, you hear like a bass like that. Oh, I don't know. You don't know. Oh. Well, a perfect example of vinyl is uh, is they it's it's also been used on on doing something good. Like let's say you had trouble sleeping. There's a certain frequency where where it'll help you sleep. Uh. Yeah, and it, and it also can, can also can be beneficial if you really need to, if you need, if you really need to feel, uh, feel at a certain state of mind, like it makes you want to relax, and that so, and that sort of thing. So, uh -huh. and there's also, and there's also some, some binals where, it, it even. It can even go as far as repairing your DNA. Mm. Can you believe? Can you believe sound can actually r repair DNA? The ge the genetic stuff that makes up makes up a uh, life, and as well mm. as its traits and and certain and certain things that makes up a person. Or or uh, or something something that that gives you a figure of shape and form the way why you look that w look like that and 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 how did you get to that point? Mm. Yes, it goes as far as that. Well, to be yeah. honest, I'm not I'm not, I'm a, I'm somewhat a little skeptical when it comes to that part because I'm not I'm not exactly sure how that can affect. A person, or or how can how can audio can re, can go as far as that? But I'm very sure that certain sounds makes you feel a certain way, and I'm very sure the same thing applies with mus the music you'd listen to. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
So yeah, the next time you listen to a mainstream song or, or something with lyrics, well, there there's a there's a perfect example that that uh, there are there's a good chance that there might be some hidden stuff within your favorite audio tracks. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I just wanted to pin pinpoint that out because you know sound can also make makes p people feel a certain way and I'm very sure when you listen to certain music you kind of feel a certain way or you have a or you remember something when you listen to that particular sound like sometimes you associate oh, yeah. it you associate a thought with with the, that particular song you listen to when you uh, when you first started to hear about it yeah yeah yeah. So. So yeah, I mean. Well, I guess uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much all all for subliminal messages. And not a whole lot, but that's just a brief cover uh, coverage of stuff. Like sometimes, sometimes it can be used for good. Like there's also some subliminal stuff with or campaigns for instance where there's like the anti-smoking campaigns yeah. and where it it uh, promotes anti-smoking which uh, so so there's so not all subliminal messages are bad there it's just it's just a double-edged sword you know what I mean? It can be used for good, or it can be used for yeah. evil, or for brainwashing yeah. people. Yeah, true that. <sighs> well, man, we co we cover quite some stuff. Well, I'm g well as much as I like to come up with more with more stuff to talk about 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 it. I'm gonna have to leave it leave it for leave it for the other for the rest, and I shall. And I shall also, also uh, stop from here. In the meantime, well, guys, if you're watching this, and in case you are, um, and thank, uh, thank you for for taking the time to you know listen to what I gotta say, hear, hear, uh, hear what you gotta hear, and so on and so forth, and watch me as I as I do some editing stuff on my map. Probably a few little details here and there, but but it's all good. We got, I got, at least I got something done here. So, so guys, uh, be sure, be for sure to check out some stuff. I also have some, some, some other content here. So if you, you can check out on some links that I have provided, either on the description or one of my other sites or channels or, or pages, or so on and so forth. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, plus um share uh re retweet or 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 re -for or forward or or whatever the names will be will be called later on in order to get this out there so in other words guys uh thank you much so much for for watching and also thank you cha for joining this chat for joining the chat here with me yeah no problem and uh and we also hope that uh, that we can all uh, that we can make some more more stuff later on. Till yeah, then. I hope so. All right then. Till then, this is this is LR7, and I'm logging out. Come on, log out already! Dang it! <laughs> why? Why you no work? Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right then. All right, you can go ahead and say and say bye bye to the audience, if or the bye people bye. watching. All right then. Here we go. Logging out this time. Ending transmission.